Hello, my heroes, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, sunny and pensive is my initial prediction today for the heroes of the zodiac. The moon is now in Gemini, so emotional focus for Aries is will be on your ability to intellectualize your emotions. So this is a time where we are in discovery of how we really feel about certain things, and we're very aware of our emotions. We're also in a position where we can articulate our emotions better than usual. So this is always a transit where I recommend people blog, people talk to their best friends, people talk to their therapist, people get things off their chest. And if there's someone that you're having conflict with or having uncomfortable energy with, this is the best transit, frankly, in the month to get things off your chest. So talk to them. You'll be able to crystallize how you feel and therefore communicate it in a very Moon and Gemini sort of way. Now, over the weekend, the sun has transformed into Cancer. That means we've got a new hot topic of the month. This month, Aries will be working on their home, their family, and their foundation. How well grounded are you? Now, this encompasses a lot of things. In the most simplest way of looking at it, this is literally your home. This may be a month where you do upgrades, where you move, where you give notice to move, where your space itself is not really, a, uh, not really helping you. By the way, just for you guys, we have the Feng Shui guy coming out. Ariel Joseph Town. That's a new show they'll be launching this month, helping you in a feng shui way to get your space in order. But this also includes your relationships to your immediate family members, your relationships to your roommates, your relationships to your children if you're a parent. This is how we balance this area of our life. We must have solid potting soil in order to grow fruit and to grow flowers, right, in order for us to prosper. So in chapter one of Sun and Cancer, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to begin to notice what's not working in your potting soil, what's not working in this entire grounding space, and what's not working when it comes to you self-mothering. Self-mothering is a big part of this vibration, and also the relationship to your mother or your nurturing parent. So tomorrow is actually light cast day, and we'll be getting right on the track right away with getting to the bottom of what's not working. All right, my heroes, that's all I have for Monday. I'll see you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So